Nas. All right, welcome back to the Nas Fast channel, guys. We have a review to do for you. Uh, and if you don't know this is the Knives Fast channel, please uh, check out the subscription button and hit it and hit that notification bell and stick around. Uh, this is my review of the Remet Hand Feel. That is the name of the knife. Uh, you can find a link to this down in the description, guys. Remet was very kind uh, to send this one along for review. Now, it came in this uh, pretty basic box, but there is... Uh, your information on the knife. Now, Remet used to be um, have a different name. I'm not going to go through it. It was a bunch of letters on. Uh, you can find them on Amazon, and the name was just like QY something 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 something. But now they're Remet, R-E-M-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. It also came with this really nice zip-up pouch, as you can see. Very very nicely done. So let's set those over here and get on this review. Now this knife is. $39.99 over on uh, Amazon, and it comes in a black G10 or an OD green G10. The black G10 actually has a black coated blade, and the green, as you can see, uh, does not, but we'll get into that here in a moment, and we'll go through the specs. Now, they're $40 over there on Amazon, so this is OD green. Let's pull this light back. Hold on. All right, o OD Green G10, checkered as I call it, or uh, textured G10. You do have, um, you know, uh, flat screws here, and you have your pivot sticks up a little bit. You have du tool dueling, tooling, dueling, tooling. Yes, you do. Dueling, tooling, tooling on both sides. Um, and you have chamfering all the way around. You have a lanyard slot here uh, between your barrel spacers, which is really cool. I have a very basic steel loop over pocket clip that comes very much, very, very close to the to the end of the knife. You got about that much sticking out. And it is right side tip only carry only. Does not have a left side option for you lefties. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. You do have uh, shadow box liners or liners that uh, stick out over a little bit. They are nice and polished steel liners, uh, rounded, co contoured, and they feel good. You do have some jimping back here on the liners. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Pocket clip uh, has Remet written on the pocket clip, as you can see. Uh, you do have decent retention. Comes in and out of the pocket. Let me just make sure I've had so many knives. Yeah, very well. Uh, comes in and out of the pocket. Retention is pretty good. Could be slightly stronger, as you see there, but it's not too bad. Um, not bad at all. Um, and your hardware is obviously this shiny silver, as you can see. Two barrel spacers there. All right, so it is a flipper knife, and you do have uh, some, some jimping. Now, this... Um, a flipper tab does stick out a little bit. It is um, a little pokey, if you will, stick out, but not too bad. Now, it does uh, grab your finger pretty well, as you can see. Um, the jimping is good, very, very good in that regard. It also has thumb studs to open with, as you can see. Uh, very nice there. Now, I will tell you guys, the first thing you should know uh, back here is the detent is a little soft. Um, that is really my only, well, my only big, kind of bigger negative. Uh, I do have one little nitpick, but, um, the, the jimping is just, you know, if you give it gas, it's going to go, but you can definitely fail it. I uh, wish the jimping was a little stronger now. I mean the jimping, the detent. Now what you can, the way you can tell that is I can very easily shake this blade out. Um, and carrying a tip up, sometimes that can be a concern because it can pop open in your pocket. You can see um, the detent is not terrible. Uh, you can hold the knife like this, but if you give it any weight at all, it's going to open up, as you can see there. So I wish that was a little bit stronger. Uh, and, you know, if it's your knife, uh, you can open it up and you can definitely... Let me wipe that blade down for a second. You can open it up and you can definitely uh, bend that lock bar a little bit and make it a little bit stronger. So I wouldn't keep that... I wouldn't let that keep me from buying this knife is what I'm trying to say. Um, very nicely done. Now the blade is 9CR18 in this satin finish with this great drop point shape. Um, 
and uh, really cool. Now, guys, there is no markings on the blaze, are no markings. So basically, this is a completely billboard-free knife, which is really interesting from, from a Chinese company. Uh, I find that very interesting. Now, this is made in China and, again, was sent to me by Remet. But you can see, action-wise, pretty good. Um, and by the way, uh, I, it may be sort of tuned for the thumb studs because you can see uh, it definitely pops with the thumb studs. Just a little lazy uh, with the flipper, that's all. Um, so can I middle finger flick it? Whoops, see, got to be careful with that lack of detent. But there you go, yes, I can. Um, again, comes down to your thumb, drops, very nice. Now, it is a four-finger knife, as you can see here. Um, nowhere to really choke up. Do have a very decent sharpening choil there. You can see um, that plunge grind is right at the edge there. You would have some life in the sharpening, but maybe a little ways down the road that might become a smile, but I doubt it. I think you have enough room there that you're probably fine. I love the I love this satin finish, and I love the look of the flats. Uh, oh, by the way, back in this grip, you have some jimping, and it's pretty good right there, but you can also come out past it. Nice and chamfered. Feels really good in the hand. Again, you know I'm not. Jimping will never be a deal breaker for me, uh, ever. I don't need it, and, you know, it's fine. Um, and so really good pass through to the lock bar. Congratulations on that. A little bit of chamfering there. Uh, could be a little more of a chamfer there uh, to allow, man, come on, uh, to allow it to not, uh, you know, become, you know, if you're fidgeting with it a lot, uh, to become a repetitive thing where it grinds into you. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, very good. Now, the only other thing I wanted to mention, guys, is you see you've got a choil there for your finger and a choil here for your fingers. The only comment I would have is that because this part being uh, right on for me, hitting on that, see that point right there, uh, and then this being flat, it, does, it, it doesn't feel as comfortable as it could have if that had just if that had ramped a little, a little, you know what I mean, that bump hadn't have been there. But it's not bad. Um, and again, you do feel the pocket clip, as I always say, with a steel loop over clip. But it's not a hot spot at all. Um, very nice. Now, let's see. We have no lock rock, no blade play. Uh, we have a 40-ish percent lock up there. Very nice. And again, I told you, uh, really nice action on this one. Feels good. No, no issues with that lock bar or anything like that. Very, very nice in the hand. Uh, centering. Oh, boy, I'm going to look at it off camera, guys. Uh, it is off to the clip side just slightly, as you can see. There you go. You see that? It is very slight, but it is definitely off to the clip side. Now, uh, inside, you do have... Some nice milling for right there. You can see it only on the one side for uh, weight reduction. Now let's talk about uh, this knife. So again, it is right at forty dollars thirty nine. Let me make sure before I say it. Da -da -da -da, thirty nine eighty uh, for this knife on Amazon. I will have a link. Uh, the three point five two ounces. Uh, and it is um, G10, of course, 9CR18 MOV steel, which is what Sincut is using. And it's a little lower, just slightly, than a Sincut knife would be. Um, manual, obviously, 3.52 ounces. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the blade. I thought I saw the, the blade. Uh, oh, blade length 3.15. And that handle, it doesn't give me the handle length, but the handle is right at four inches, I believe. Uh, yep. And uh, maybe just slightly larger than that. Um, let's just see if I can get a ruler out without knocking my camera over here. So I can give you the overall. Oh, gosh. This is my kind of day, guys. This is my kind of day. So this overall on this knife is seven and a half inches. That's what I thought. I just didn't want to talk out of school. So there you go. All right, and so here is your comparison to the larger Ontario Rat 1, and here is your comparison to the smaller 
Ontario Rat too. But you can see it's definitely in between the two, which is uh, gives you a very nice comparison there. Uh, and again, very nice budget knife. So check it out, guys. I'll leave you the link. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you, Remet, for sending this. And thank you guys for watching the Knives Fast channel.